Today, let's have a look at the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37 Fly Ease. And of course, find out what it feels like to run in them. Looking at the shoe, it looks like a small, fast shoe. The design is really great, and the whole style of the shoe just screams race me. It has an air zoom unit in the forefoot, which is twice as large as previous versions to give you more bounce, and it has Nike React foam in the midsole. You don't tie your laces, but it has a zipper on the side, so you just ease into your shoe, zip up, and go. It has a nice durable looking sole that, again, for some reason, just looks like it needs to be running at fast speed. This neutral shoe weighs 310 grams in a size 10, and it has a 10 millimeter heel drop. Now this awesome white color makes me want to be really careful with the shoe and not get it dirty. But yeah, we need to find out what it feels like to run in them. So uh, yeah, let's go take them outside and go for a run. My first run in the Pegasus 37 Fly Ease. Uh, they're a comfortable shoe, they're nice to run in, they have a, a great midsole bounce. Uh, I like a lot of bounce and a lot of cushioning in my shoes. Uh, these don't have that much cushioning uh, compared to the shoes that I recently reviewed. The Next% Percent Fly Ease, the Nike Invincible Run, or the Adidas uh, Ultra Boost 21. They all have a lot of extra cushioning, but not everybody likes that. Uh, I happen to enjoy that a lot in my shoes. But uh, if you don't, but you just want that extra springier step, then uh, this is probably going to be enough. Uh, it has a very nice bounce to it. Uh, the Fly E system is, uh, is really great. It works really well. It's easy to get in and out of your shoes. Plus, uh, you can actually easily uh, tighten or loosen the shoes. Uh, that's an issue that I had with the uh, Next% Percent Fly E's. They felt a bit loose, but with, uh, with the Pegasus 37, you can easily just uh, pull the strings and uh, tighten your shoes a little bit. So, so that's great. Uh, like I said, they're a comfortable running shoe. And if you don't need that extra cushioning that uh, that the Ultra Boost brings or the the Invincible Run, then they're a great shoe. Uh, also for the the price that you pay for them, I think they're on sale for 120 euros or dollars right now. So uh, yeah, uh, that's a lot cheaper than a lot of other running shoes out there. So uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this review. And until next time, get out there and run. <laughs>